episode. We had to do an episode when we touched down. Take y'all back to our old stomping ground. Old stomping ground. The kill. Right. Boom. The kill. We need that right there. Yeah, you know, the kill, basically, what we started. You feel me, since fourth grade, that's where we started playing basketball there during when everybody was at lunch. Cause you know, our lunchroom was in oh, the gym. Okay. Yeah, you, so we just started hooping. And then we went to Bit McKill in sixth grade, was on JV, seventh grade on varsity. And then from seventh grade to 10th grade, we just played at the kill, wrecking stuff, youngins, killing. 19 and old, you know, we running the city. We couldn't lose, and y'all already know how it was. You know, me and Bake playing on the same team and all that. Especially in high school, boy. Ryan was there a couple of games with things was mayhem. <laughs> the boys and you know, all. My first highlights came from McKill. I caught them bodies and stuff. Got a lot of bodies at McKill, man. Shout out to my McKill family. Yeah, we finna hit McKill. Who pick up session with the uh, players there now? See what they rocking with. We bound to walk them every game though. We used to walk in here, game time, ready for action. 2012, you feel me? We was running stuff. And then yeah, 2013, yeah. that's when Bait was going off for 35 and 36 yeah, that I couldn't play. Yeah, he couldn't play. So and that's how, we knew, that's how we knew he had it, right? I had no we way. knew he had it. <laughs> What's up, bro? As a young boy, they put me in that fire. I went in there and ate. I went and got that by myself, you know. Got both of them back to back. We would've won state that year. I'm telling you we would've won state that year, but bro couldn't play. Just know that ring would've been right here on this thing. We did that. What's up? Man, you know, being in the gym brings back a lot of memories. Bro. Sold out gym, you know, all that. You all know how that gets so go, man. You got to get it in, you know, run a little full with them. I ain't playing in a long time, so, you know, see if I still got the juice. Mike, you know, since we was at McKill in eighth grade, we could play varsity. Mike came in here and gave us buckets. That's the first time I wet. I, I mean, I met Mike. I said wet. Yeah, I probably wet him too. But you know, we played, yeah, my boy played right here in his gym. He was a senior, we was in the A. They cat like 30. They cat 30. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. But, I'm gonna try to trip though. <laughs> Two assists away from a triple double. Look, but I'm telling him, we'll run it, was like the running back. They seniors, we seniors. Or oh, even ninth grade. I feel like we would have. Ninth grade. Yeah, because we went 20, 28 and 2 ninth grade, huh? 28 and two, and then, you know, again, he had to start coaching. I, I just couldn't do it at the kill no more. That was my coach my whole life there. Like, my whole time there, he was my coach. To let me go stay this high, you feel me? Anytime, anything I needed, he treated us like, feel me, we was his kids, and that's why I really fell in love with the kill and stayed there so long, because of him. I mean, he had a son on the team, but would still treat us like, you feel me, we his real kids. He wouldn't do nothing for his real son that he wouldn't do for us. That's what, you know, that's why I love the kill so much. And my little brother's there now. Jake Gandy and Mom again. You what's up, what's boy? Up, boy? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Where's Big Gandy? He's at the ranch. I gotta come out to the house before I leave. You know, I love my boy to death. We'd have been through too much lot together. He the dunk of the century now. My boy was dunking everything. Look. So give me give him a taste, Jake. Drop step. Easy, real easy. Real easy, we're gonna leave it at that. If y'all want a dunk contest, it's me and Jay against anybody. Let me get my little scratch in. I remember growing up yesterday doing songs. I'm gonna get my little scratch in and see what these uh, little McKillers got. Got some college players in the building. This basketball thing live down here in Lakeland, man. It's real live, it's real live. Shot the to Reebok too. If I could hoop some Iversons, I would. But I'm be jayed up this shit right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm be jayed up, man. Look, 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 look. Coach Diane just texted me. You gotta get this. Shout out to Coach D, man. Shout out to Coach D. We gonna give you all the love. You already know you get all the praise. We wouldn't be nowhere without you right now, Coach, because you trusted in us. There's two nappy-headed kids from the L playing basketball with a little attitude. You trusted us. Nobody else. And that's why we getting it in right now, and it's really that. I'm finna get right though.
You feel me? Oh, killed. We was out there in the middle of nowhere every day for a whole year. You had to, you had to work. You feel me? Work for what you want. You had to get in that gym and go get it. Go to class. Right after class, you go to practice. After practice, you go to the dorm. Five minutes, go to dinner. After dinner, you go back to the gym and play pickup. <laughs> That's a daily routine at Oak Hill, every day. And I know they're going to do it this year. Going to win that National Championship this year, man. We got number one player in the country coming in. Oh, hey, Giles. Me, bro. It was crazy for me watching Big Bro on TV, you feel me? Because, you know, I'm tuned I'm too in every game. Front row, watching everything, stressing, let's eat, bake. You know, it was different. It was it was different because it's like, dang, like like this, you feel me? Body to body. And now, bro, New York, hooping, square gardens, you know, thousands of people. It's crazy. Not even in college yet. Not even in college yet. That, and that's, that's the main thing to me. And you feel me? Like looking at them rankings and stuff. Like even with, they got bro going 18 right now on a mock drive. You feel me? He ain't even touched a college ball yet. No, no regulation. Like that's crazy to me. Like, you feel me? That's how you know things really like coming true. You know, all this work that everybody putting in, like that's how you, how you know you put in work, it's gonna be an outcome. Cause 10th grade, 9th grade, we want nothing. We want no one to matter. Everybody, when we was going to Orlando and stuff, they was like, we weren't gonna be no, we not gonna be good players. Then we got Coach Diane, we shocked the world. You know, we millions of views on the tour cause we balling now. Nah. We had college now, nah, now. Nah. Time to buckle down. Get, a, get a good education for the free, <laughs> for the free. <laughs> ain't gotta touch not one dollar. Calvin gotta pay not one thing. We need this education for the free and get this money. You know, that's the goal, Ryan. You know, that's what you know us for the longest, Ryan. You know, we just been grinding and grinding and grinding. And we ain't gonna stop grinding until we make it. Everybody that don't like us or dislike us, and you watching this, we feeding off you. Cause there's a lot more of you in the world and there ain't too many of us in the world. And we gonna get it, man. From Oak Hill, the Florida State, it's the same mindset. It's just that it's a lot of school. People say it can be distraction, but you ain't gonna get distracted if you don't want to get distracted. If you want to work, you're gonna go work, no matter what. And you know, I'm just ready for that. I'm just ready for my time, cause I know we're gonna shock a lot of people this year. You feel me? A lot of people still don't think we just, we gonna be that, but we're gonna shock a lot of people. I believe that we're gonna shock, shock a lot of people. You know, we ready for, for whatever. <laughs> Whoever in front, we ready. And you know I'm ready, I stay ready. Yeah, I look like I be ready all the time. I stay ready. I'm looking forward to college, you know. I got to do that time. I got to put in that work to get to the, you know, the, the big league. So I'm, I'm ready for college right now. You know, I don't really need nobody to tell me nothing. I, I'm going to grind. I don't really need him, you feel me, to come to me and be like, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to just go get it. I'm going to get out there and go get it. I'm, that's, that's how I got here today. I ain't moved to number 14 in the ranking by not, you know, sitting down. I went out there and grind. Oh, kill! I was grinding. When everybody, you feel me? When, when I couldn't go out at Oak Hill, I was in the gym. Everybody else was going out. We ain't had no club up there. We we ain't had we, we couldn't even go to McDonald's. You had to you survive. That's how I, you had to. I learned for a, a whole year, and it made me a, a better player, a better person, everything. So I'm ready. For sure, I'm ready. A lot of things happen out here, man. No, but memories, memory lane, man. That's all I get. When right when right when I see McKill, man, all I all I get is the chill, cause it was so good. They treat they treated us so good, and we uh we did a lot of great things out here, man. Eighth grade, we came. All right, Jake. Y'all get the Gandys. Get the Gandys. Right. Hey, I need your number. Uh -huh. All right, Jeez, appreciate y'all coming out. Right, for sure, for sure. So this is what it's all about. Getting able to come back to our old, you know, our old school and get buckets. Played against some some of the new upcoming students. You know, they ain't they ain't they ain't got the squad that we had. You know, we was out there hooping. Shout out to KB, Kendall Barnes, and Jake and all them. We had to make a name for ourselves. You know, in our city, Kathleen is a good a big basketball school. Lakeland, and, you know, George Dinkins, all them schools, the big schools, but. 
you know, we came in and we was like, we finna go to McKill and Red Shop, and that's exactly what we did. So, you know, we proud of our outcome and you now we just living, man. We cooling. We cooling. Everything good how it's supposed to be. So I remember this man, he's always coming to school, Chuck Taylor's khaki no shirt tucked in, no salt, she go do, man. White Mike bought us to school by every day. Every day. You know, we want to skip school, <laughs> we call him White Mike. We white, want to white. leave school. White we white. call him White Mike. And the white cabbie. White cabbie. We ain't got the white cabbie no more. RP to the cabbie, but real, we need that it's great. You feel me? We was out there. <laughs> practice used to kill him and baby. I made this man fall in practice. This man here, I don't know what he hollering about. <sighs> me and Bait was the lifeline of this kill stuff. He played. He played the side role. That's game though. He'll get he'll get one of y'all buckets. He won't give us buckets. He'll get one of y'all buckets though. Yeah, you know the runs is good. Playing with the young kids and you know competing, getting them ready for their season and their preseason and their conditioning. I got some good runs in. Some good, you know, good conditioning. And, uh, you know, it was just fun being back here on my home ground. Oh, you know, it's always good to play with Corey because you know, but we know both of us gonna compete and we know the we know each other game so. We know what we can do at any specific time. We know what type of passes to make to each other. It's just, you know, we done been playing against each other, playing with each other since like fifth grade, fourth grade. So, I mean, we, we been doing this. We know how, we know what it takes. We know how, we, we know what to do with each other. Fourth grade all the way to 11th grade when I came back after IMG, it's just, it was fun here. Like, you know you come to school and it ain't like other schools where you get drama. You come in here, you're going to have a good day in school. The teacher's going to love you. The coach is going to love you. It just, it was a whole bunch of love everywhere and from, from the staff, the administration, everybody. And it just, it was fun with, with the, the kids that I grew up with being at this school. It was just fun. I'm just looking, going back up there with a the mindset that I'm going to compete and I'm ready for whatever. I'm going up there, I'm continuing my work ethic and I'm just trying to, Kill anything that's in front of me. I want. I want to change the program for FSU, and I'm trying to. You know, I'm trying to win. I mean, it don't matter how we win. I just want to win, and uh, I want to be a part of that winning. And uh, I want everybody. You know, just to have a successful year with our team and just take it far as we can. And after that, everybody just do what they do. That's do what's best for them, really. And I just want to be a part of a good team this year and start a new tradition for Florida State basketball. Uh, yeah, you know, I dunked on Jake. <laughs> that was uh, Jake, the one I dunked on when I threw it off the bat boy. It, it's like his dad was our coach. That's the one that's called Gandy, and that's little Gandy. I mean, his, his, him and his mom and his dad just, you know, they just helped me. As soon as I got here, sixth grade, they just helped me. Like, he helped me grow as a player. His dad helped me grow as a player, as a young, as a young kid, you know. I can I, I could have went to their house anytime I want, stayed at night anytime I want. They feed me. It, it was just it was family. It was just like my second father, and uh, I, I you know I really appreciated him for that. Him and his family, and uh, I love them, just like they're my own family, my real family, and that's just how it is. Hey, shout out to Coach Diane, man. Showtime, you know, Showtime alumni. Shout out, you know, to McKeel. Shout out to Florida State. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Oak Hill, shout out to White Mike, DC, yeah. oh, Aaron, double Kevin, Double O, Cub, you know, everybody. Yeah, you already know. Oh, we didn't do that. Play the music. Play the music, bro. Play the music.